All right, hello everyone. Your pal Rex back here for another episode of American Truck Simulator. We're going to take some tableware from Lawton, Oklahoma, down to Dallas at this home store. We're going to take my Western Star and get on over there. It's about a three-hour trip shouldn't take us too long to get there. It's key turn on the button box there. We need some lights. You gotta be safe from going out. It's ten o'clock. Let's see, got the horn, this one? Yep. Alright. Not sure why I can't get my gas on here. And we're off. The wheel's a little vibrating. I wonder if I have to recalibrate it. Or something. But we are going to head on out of here. This is going to go that way, apparently. I'm going to turn right up here. Okay, let's find a new route. Or actually, I guess I can go left because there's no one coming. I'm gonna assume I can go this way to Dallas. To the world of truck jobs should be doing that Oklahoma cruising Oklahoma uh, my truck doesn't want to seem to go hmm weird Looks like it's having some mechanical problem wonder if I have to take it into the shop Okay, that'll be something we'll have to document later in our trip here. It's kind of weird, this guy's vibrating pretty good. We trip to Texas here. Alright. Dog days of summer here. She got more power than this thing. Can we get up to? Tw can we get up to twenty? It looks like. Hmm. Weird. Oh, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong. I wonder if there's a shop I could stop by. Oh, that'd be about a five hour trip. Yeah, I'm about, my, my wheel is vibrating. Hmm, I'm gonna try to take a look at the settings and see what I can find. All right, um, there we go. We got. You can see we got some power now. Exit right. I'm not sure what the heck happened. But anyway, that's okay. Things happen sometimes. Kind of makes it not realistic. Just uh. Some eye racing too, but I don't know what knocked it out. Like my wheels still vibrate, but at least I got the gas and stuff going. So I don't know. That's all that matters, folks. Oops, missed my turn there. <clears throat> all right. Gonna talk to you guys a bit more when the when we get a bit more on our way here. All right, just about under three hours now. I'm just paid a toll. Hmm. Find that. 
think it'll be okay on gas, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Alright, let's talk some NASCAR. NASCAR playoffs are coming up. It's definitely we could record this 2023 playoffs. Last race is pretty cool. I don't know why people are calling it boring, you know. This is a race. Oh, there's no cautions. Well, this isn't facing under cautions. This is racing. So caution means there's a wreck. That's not racing. You gotta appreciate what you, you gotta appreciate what it is too. Can't be wreck can't be wrecking all the time. Race is racing, and each track is unique. Xfinity race, I I call the Xfinity race. Pretty wild. Saw the one at Mayor getting to Gibbs. And there's a little rivalry there. So how the, all that unfolds over the time, you know, it makes it exciting. Entertaining for the viewer. Over the cup side, I don't know, it was pretty good. Now you got the playoffs now. For me, it's a little interesting. And I'm not gonna, when I talk with, I'm not gonna take away anything from anyone. The system is what it is, Fair game is fair game. We're in Dallas, we're in Texas, by the way, I mean. But there are things you're kind of like, well, gee, that's kind of a, uh, kind of lame. Like right now, you have William Byron, who's leading the playoff standings. All right, in a full season, I'm going by Winston Cup points. Uh, the Latford system points. In a full season, I'm. And this is before Watkins Blank, as I was looking at. He would be 11th in the standings out of the top 10. And if a guy like Martin Truex could be le leading it, he's up there. You know, consistency consistency tells a lot of a story because last year he was fourth in points and missed out on the playoffs. I mean, that was a little. Unfortunate. I didn't like seeing that. Right now, to me, these playoffs, it should only be between three people. It should be between the 23 of Wallace, 99 of Suarez, and the 54 of Gibbs. That's who this three. Uh, that's who it should be between, because they're all 16, 7, uh, like, yeah, 16, 17, 18. Like. That should be. I would say more between Wallace and Suarez because those are, those two have been absolutely consistent throughout the whole summer and in a full season. If they kept up like this, they would head up into the top ten. Like I think they're fourteenth, like fourteenth and like fourteenth and fifteenth. So you know, like these plus, they like, like these standings, they don't tell a full story. And it's just kind of like 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 no disrespect. Like someone like I don't know. Let's say right now Austin Dillon, he wins his way in. Well, he's what? Yeah, he's way down there, but below um, under he's I think under twenty fifth. Chase Briscoe is in thirtieth. I mean, and both of them have been non competitive. Is that what you want in the playoffs? Like not say like the twenty three or the ninety nine would be as competitive, but they've been the most consistent too. Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, two cars that with amazing equipment and a full season they went well they're already out. So can you like I don't know put them put them into playoffs and and have the other um, the other two out. I don't know. It's a flawed system like that. Like I don't like that's what that's what I don't like about it. Cuz like honestly, the whole battle the sum between it was mostly between the 23 and the 99. That's a battle. That's a chess game. Like that's like what like a 6 week battle of who can hold on. And Swore is has it been like, like he like they faltered. Like shocking, they faltered. So, I don't know, like, I think if we get a new winner that's way below the cut line, it's going to be lame. Like, well, 
They 100% deserve it, though. Because those are the rules. They 100% deserve it. But it's just kind of like, well... <sighs> so that's my take on it. But... So either way, it's just going to be a race. It's going to be interesting, interesting to see. Daytona. Great racing. Personally, myself, uh, something's been interesting. I got myself some health stuff. Um, I'm part deaf and I got hearing aids. I uh, finally paid up my ass for it, but I uh, got them. Very great. Very thankful, really, because it took a lot of work and hearing some things I haven't heard in over 15 years. I'm like, whoa. That's uh, quite something. Stuff people take for granted. I'll be able to hear the kids one day. I'll be able to hear some racing sometime. <sighs> and speaking of NASCAR, I've been in a lot of I racing. That next gen card is freaking hard to drive. So, <clears throat> honestly, hats off to all of them. Either way. <laughs> Okay, I don't I'm gonna go in here in Dallas, I think. Yeah. Yep, some Ruru coin to close up to Tone Race. For me, someone's over. That's it for me. My vacation's over too. Yeah, back to you. Go out there, I got a lot of stuff. Well, I'm traveling more. I know I'm going to cruise sometime. That should be cool. Now it wants me in this other lane, right? Yep, Dallas. Fix my brake a little bit so it doesn't suddenly stop. That's what I like. Oh, I'll give my quick thoughts on the SRX series. I thought it was pretty good. I mean, you know, it show showcases a lot of uh, talent, a lot of racing. Really cool local short tracks. A lot of those are dying out because of fucked web developers. Oh, I could almost tip that, baby. Even by me, it's getting really ridiculous, really expensive. I know everyone tells me you gotta move. Well, I worked my way into opportunity here, so it's a little hard to do that, and I kind of get what I want. I just don't play a lot of the LA wheel in Fantasy Land. So, can't say about there, I guess. Right. Smart by shopping. That's what you gotta do. Hey, see, you made it okay on gas. There's a gas station there, too. Exit right. You gotta shift up the blinker on whatever, I don't give a fuck. I think when I'm driving behind the wheel, I have a fuck about people put around me. <laughs> no, I do. I do. <clears throat> Alright. So in Dallas, hope this gives me a uh, tick. on like a hill this time. I'm still not the best for back in, you guys Go know that. On. Just do what I do. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Keep Use right all this space here. Right. 
Home store. In the back. Here we are. Safe and safe. I can go this way. I don't have a ton of gas to do. What do I want? Actually, yes, I do. <laughs> See if I can go all the way around. I'm gonna find out. I'm stuck. Well, hey, you guys aren't good to see shit. Back, I figure it's just right there. Should be fine. Oh, between here. Cool. Should be interesting enough. Camera. Nope, not quite. Almost. No, wrong way, fuck me. It's hard to see you in person. I'm not pausing this because before I would. No, I'm not gonna fucking change. See, look at that. Beautiful. Sort of. Go the frick up. Let's go. Come on. Ooh, I'm gonna clip my mirrors off here, aren't I? Ah. Most folks probably talk about the next round of NASCAR play also while I'm at it here. <laughs> Come on. See what I'm doing wrong in a second. Straight. 
turned out enough. Fuck. What's going on here? Fuck. What am I being dumb for? I'm not in no fucking mood. Whatever. Half hour. Like 20 minutes without backing in. Alright. Check and make sure I get that thing. There we go. Bit two. Perfect. Beautiful. So what you do next time? See what else I can back into now. Alright. Thanks for watching everyone.